Hello everyone, and welcome back to Railroads Online. So I've found a pretty good way to build a 30 stall roundhouse in the beta branch. So coming off this first switch, I have a 30 degree curve perpendicular to the spawn track. And right after that, I build a short segment uh, straight. About 10 meters. And then the second uh, piece is 15 meters. And after that is just anywhere to connect the turntable to. So I try to line up the turntable as best I can. It takes me about a few tries, but the third one I think get cuts pretty good. So yeah, you can see there it's pretty close. So I delete that first straight piece, and then I reconnect it to the link on the turntable. And right after that, I put a 2 meter stub section. And I'll do that for each part of the uh, stalls of Roundhouse. So each Roundhouse stall will have the 2 meter section. and. On this turntable, I try to line up this uh, 90 degree crossover on top of the turntable just to see how close I'm lining up this to. So trying to get it perpendicular to the entrance track. I see that there's lines in the sides of the turntable that you can line your tracks up to. If you line up the rails to the center of that, just right in between, you can line up perfectly. Then I continue with the two meter stub sections on each of them. And to line it all up better, I take the outside links and link it so it shows where I had the turntable at. So after this, it's a little bit easier, but as you can see here, I managed to line it up to the wrong one first try, but then I move it to the left a bit onto the next one to line it up better. And I continue with the two meter sections. And then in between those rails, I try to line up in right in between again. So as you can see, it's shorter. Uh, it's easier to count too. So you can find like that right there. Put that at two meters. Then link the end ends up together. Then right after that. You'd want to line this up right in between the two you just laid. And that's as close as they're all going to be together. And you'd want to repeat this process for the whole way around until you have stub sections covering the whole outside of that turntable. It takes me a few tries again to get this perfect, but I try to get as best I can. So continuing on with the two meter sections, then linking the outside of the splines. Now the reason I have the outside of the splines connected is just to, again, have that track over top the turntable to be showing. But what's nice about setting it on the outside is you can delete it later. And it still has the sections shown. So I think this takes about another 10 minutes overall because 
again, it's probably the hardest part of this. It's just trying to line it all up together. I think it's pretty neat that this turntable model has the texture like that, because now you can line it all up perfectly. I put this in the first time around, so it's just easier to line it up, but after building it a few times over and over again, it just gets easier. And right as I say that, I get confused again. So there's these 12 concrete bricks that's on the turntable edge. And I'm trying to line it up into the middle. So that would be the six crease. Yeah, as you can see here, I'm still counting the creases. So after I figure that out, it's uh, pretty easy from the rest of this. And as I'm deleting these, I accidentally delete the one I'm going to keep, but it's okay. Now that I've got these all lined up, I can replace that easily. I delete that one because I'm not going to need it since there's a curve coming off the entrance track. Now that all the stub tracks are completed on the ends of the turntable, I'll connect a 15 meter rails with walls onto them. And right in between the ends of them, I'll place an engine house. And I'll continue that until I place 15 total engine houses.
Right now I'm deleting some trees because they're just in the way, and later on I'll delete the trees inside the engine facilities. I find it easier to place two engine houses at a time, then I can delete the tracks going into them to replace them with the Type 1 tracks. And I turn off circle notes so I can connect them.
So here I'm deleting all the trees inside the engine houses. And after that, I'll take Betsy, put her on a turntable, and try out the engine houses. So yeah, I think this was a pretty fun build to make, and I hope you guys all find this useful in your own uh, Railroads Online servers, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye for now.